right, we're going to do a quick recap of our wire hair dachshund hand strip and uh, see what you all think. Basically, the standard, you know, you want to try and create it as level as top line as possible. They should have good angulation. The goal of this breed is to try and strip them evenly and smoothly so that you don't end up with holes, so that from a distance, they look no different than a smooth coated dachshund other than their little eyebrows and their little beards okay their tails should never have a flag on them their legs have very little furnishings just enough like I said to make it look similar to a smooth coated dachshund all right their tails should not be plucked too bald but should have a sufficient amount of coat so that it looks like it blends in smoothly but again never any fringe in the back okay you can use different procedures rolling the coat which is where you roll up the coat and take the longest hairs out um, you can also take your palm glove and smooth it out and anything that pops out that way you can take it out um, the only time I will comb against the grain is just when I'm looking for those last hairs but then I still go over it with the palm brush to see the last remaining little porcupine quills that are sticking out but um, you could spend a lot of time working on these your goal is to get around the dog evenly um, using the different steps of the outlining process and taking a nice even layer off everywhere and there is no cheating in hand stripping if you spend more time in one spot it will show your next appointment so with experience will come better finish work um, even same amount of coat being removed uh, all over the dog the only reason you would change that up is if the dog had a particular fault to hide where you needed to fill in a dip or something like that but ultimately you've got to keep that coat cycling through evenly so that you never end up with any bald spots ears are very smooth so make sure you remove any of the fuzzies actually shorter than anywhere else on the body you've got a nice little beard but you've got to take hair out there because if you don't you won't have any layers and it's going to get soft and lose its color and the same thing with the eyebrows you've got to pull out some eyebrow it's better to take hair out than not because you won't have anything coming underneath of it and you'll have nothing but white fuzz so that's it thank you very much Oh, you're such a baby.